Hi everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss about uh, the bipolar junction transistor or the BJT. Typically, we will learn how to calculate the voltage of uh, VBE and VCE and uh, VCB in the common emitter and pin configuration. This is the crucial concept for anyone working with the electronics. So let's get started. All right. Take a look at this circuit. This is a classic common emitter setup using the NPN transistor. Notice that the emitter is our common point connected to the both input and the output. We have base current as IB and the collector current as IC and the emitter current as IE. And we are considering the biasing voltage of the base of the transistor will be 3.3 volt with the base resistor of 4.7 kilo ohm and uh, we have a collector voltage VCC with the 20 volt and uh, collector resistance with the uh, 220 ohm. Our transistor has a beta of uh, 100 or the current gain of 100 and uh, by considering the current transistor we have a base to emitter voltage 0 0.876 volt. To find the collector current and the collector to emitter voltage first we need to find the base current IB. The KVL state that the sum of voltage around the closed loop is equal to 0 so that VB minus IB into RB minus VB equal to 0. We get IB is equal to VB minus VB whole divided by RB. Plugging in our value that IB is equal to 3.3 volt minus 0.876 volt divided by 4.7 kilo ohm, which gives us approximately 0.515 milliamps. That's good. Now we have value of IB. So we can find the electric current IC. Remember that IC is related to IB by transistor beta. The equation is simple. IC is equal to beta times IB. Since the beta is 100, IC is equal to 100 times 0 0.515 milliamps, which is equal to 51.5 milliamps. Next up, let's find the VC, the collector to emitter voltage. Again, we will use the KVL around the collector to emitter loop. By applying the KVL rule, the VCC minus IC into RC minus VC is equal to 0. We will rearrange to solve the VC so that VC is equal to VCC minus IC into RC. Substituting our value, VC is equal to 20 volt minus 51.5 milliamps into 220, which gives us approximately 8.67 volt. Finally, we need to determine collector to base voltage. Formula for this is VCB is equal to VC minus VB. Since our emitter is grounded, so we can consider V is equal to 0 volt. And uh, we know that VCE is equal to VC minus V. By considering the value of V equal to 0, VC is equal to VC. So VCB is equal to simply VC minus VB. Plugging in our calculated value, VCB is equal to 8.67 volt minus 876 volt, which is equal to 7.78 volt. So that by considering the current transistor, our 
VVE will be 0 0.876 volt and the base current IB will be 0 0.151 milliamps and the, the collector current IC will be 51.5 milliamps and uh, the collector to emitter voltage collector to emitter voltage VC will be 8.67 volt and uh, collector to base voltage will be 7.78 volt so let us verify one by one Initially, I will measure the voltage across the base to emitter. It is around 0.876 volt. Okay. And similarly, the base current IB will be 515 microamps. That is equal to 0 0.515 milliamps. And similarly, IC will be 51.5 milliamps. And uh, the voltage across the collector to emitter will be 8.6 volt. And the voltage across the collector to base will be 7. 78 volt by comparing our theoretical calculation and simulated value are approximately matching each other understanding this calculation is fundamental for the designing and analyzing the transistor circuit if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up subscribe for more electronics tutorials and let me know in the comment if you have any question thank you for the watch